Hey everybody, Reef Girl here. I thought I'd show you some of the growth I've had in my tank over the past several months, specifically with Montipora of various types. I've never had a lot of luck growing Montipora in any of the tanks I've ever had, but this purpley blue Montipora Capricornus actually has a growing edge all around it, which is really cool. I've never seen this before on any of the Montes that I've ever kept. And this other one is a season's greetings and there are tons of red polyps popping up all over this thing. It's also getting a really interesting surface texture and really starting to spread out on the rock. And here we are seven months later at the beginning of May and check it out. The growth is amazing. And it's one of those things where I really didn't notice the speed at which it was growing. I just always checked to make sure there was nothing sitting on it and that it didn't look like anything was annoying it. So this has really amazed me to see how much growth happens in just seven months. Here's a top-down view showing good polyp extension. In this light, the polyps look kind of a greenish-gray color and in other lights, they look blue. It's really interesting to see this and the growth is just wonderful. And here, the season's greetings doing well. Over here on the opposite side of the overflow are two other plating Montes. The one on the right is a Reef Tech Starburst and the one on the left is an orange plating Monty, which looks kind of purple right now, but it's actually a deep rusty orange color. These have been plagued with Montipora eating nudibranchs and I've had them out of the tank several times to clean them up. If you've never seen a Montipora eating nudibranch, this is what they look like. Make sure you get them out of your tank as quickly as you can. They can be siphoned out or plucked off. Dipping is best, but you won't get the eggs. Act fast. And I have a theory. I have white-footed hermit crabs in here and I believe they ate whatever hatched of the nudibranch eggs because I have not seen any nudibranchs since. So without being plagued by nudibranchs, these things have really taken off in growth. I'm amazed by it and the polyp extension is wonderful. Could be down to the miracle mud, could be down to other things as well, but they're quite beautiful and they seem to be growing fast. And the growth continues as time passes, but I'm not gonna take for granted that these things are gonna to continue to grow and look beautiful because as I said, I don't have great luck when it comes to growing Montipora. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Hey.